this is a Ubuntu 20.04.6. This is a point release for 20.04. It is loading so we should wait for it. Here is the logo. Click Ctrl C to skip the ISO file checking errors thing. Ubuntu is loading. It takes around like 20 to 30 seconds to show the desktop. We can see the pointer here. which is loading here is the welcome screen or a desktop with date and calendar and some desktop features here you can choose your language and this is a welcome screen of Ubuntu 20.04.6 if you want to try it in a live mode just try Ubuntu and if you want to install from here you can install Ubuntu from here right now I'm going to choose try Ubuntu live mode you can choose your languages here I'll choose mine as English just few more seconds for complete load up we got again our mouse pointer here it is completely loaded let's change the display resolution first I am using a VMware with 40 GB hard disk and 4 GB RAM with two processors Let's change the display resolution. Go to settings and change display resolution. Mine is 1920 into 1080p, which is which will be 16 to 9 ratio. If you want to scale your display resolution, you can go for 100 to 200, which will make the text and fonts bigger size, so you can see properly. Let's check the about of the distro device name Ubuntu this is my processor OS name is Ubuntu 20.04.6 LTS which is long term supported and GNOME version is 3.36.8 Windows system x11 and I'm running on VMware it shows virtualization VMware let's close this thing and open the system monitor before running any apps and see how much of the resources are consuming before launching the apps and let's check the system monitor after at the end I think it takes some time I guess let's click it again let's check the version before 3.36.1 here are the processors running Pulse Audio is on priority very high Let's go to the resources Let's change the color so you can see properly The CPUs are run running around below 20% a, there is a little bit of a high peak here in the starting let's run for 60 seconds and see the memory is around 1.4 GB of 3.8 GB and the internet is 
running at 80 bytes something like that 41 bytes because we are not using any internet here when we use internet we will get a high peak here as you can see here there is some peak here and let's go back to the CPU it is below 20% that's still good let's check the file system and close it let's open the terminal and type in some commands let's check the version before about 3.36.2 let's maximize this let's type in INXI and hit enter command not found let's type cat slash etc slash issue ubuntu 20.04.6 lts let's type in uname dash a the kernel version is 5.15.0 dash 67 uname dash r let's type neofetch let's type sudo app install neofetch let's type in headstop sudo apt install headstop it is installing we need to wait for some time to let it complete it is completed let's type in head stop now the memory is running around 1.1 GB of 4 GB and here is the CPU tasks threads on running let's close this thing let's open the internet browser which will be Firefox web browser let's check the rest of features when it is loading let's close it and check the version of the Firefox the version will be triple one and let's type in Ubuntu Let's just type in Ubuntu and see. We got a capture here. Let's verify this. I'm using a VPN so it always shows this. Let's click on download. There is no version of here. Let's go and type in directly Ubuntu 20.04.6 download. Local Fosa. Ubuntu 20.04.6 LTS If you have AMD you can go with AMD If you have ARM You can go with ARM devices There is no ARM ISO I think There is AMD 64.ISO which is around like 4.1 GB in size Click on this to download. We have a live server here if you want. Here is the download. 
let's close this thing let's close everything and let's open the installation take some time to load language is English continue keyboard English English same United States you can choose other languages if you want click on continue install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats if you want or if you don't want just uncheck this if you want minimal you can go with minimal I'm going with normal installation click on continue the new installer of Ubuntu 23.04 is way faster which I already made in the yesterday video if you want you can go check it out the older version installer is pretty much slow to be honest yesterday I was shocked of the Ubuntu installer it was pretty much very fast and let's if you want to erase the disk you can do this if you want to do other type of partition you can go with something else I'm just showing the formality of how to install you need to know how to install your uh, Linux distro on your PC before doing anything else because it can erase the disk so be careful in that just install now and finish it and reboot that's it that's the formality of installation let's close this quit it and let's run every app for their version and about here is the activity tab let's launch calculator calendar a bit of lag a cheese just for three apps it is a bit laggy for me I don't know about your PC and let's open document scanner let's first check their versions and close this because I don't want to get a big lag here document scanner 3.36.3 close this thing it's already a bit stuck there cheese 3.34.0 close it let's check the calendar version about calendar 3.36.2 nice about calculator 3.36.0 let's see disk usage analysis version will be 3.34.0 close it let's open files g parted image viewer and library office let's check the version of image viewer which will be 3.36.3 let's check the library office version calculator the version of library office will be all same even its calculator draw math everything will be same the version is 6.4.7.2 this is a old version the latest version is around like 7.5 i guess let's close this thing let's check the image viewer version 3.36.3 gparted 1.0.0 and file manager which is 3.36.3 stable version let's close this thing what we left still short well 
App Store, Thunderbird Mail, a text editor, a rhythm box. That's it. Let's check the versions about text editor gedit 3.36.2 what is this let's close it about rhythm box which will be 3.4.4 close it short well let's check the version of short well 0.30.10 close it let's check the thunderbird version version is 1.102.8.0 let's close this thing here we have a app store installed all these apps they are all pre-installed I didn't install any app Let's check the version of videos. Video version is 3.34.1. We can check the versions directly from here instead of launching every app. Clone disk. What is the version? 3.36.3. Mines. 3.36.0. The version will be same like 3.36 and point the number changes in the end that's it for almost gnome apps let's see the updates snapd 2.5.3 58.3 2023 version core 20 let's close this thing let's check the desktop background for wallpapers the same old wallpapers only few let's try that even it is few this is pretty good this is beautiful to be honest let's go to the network bluetooth a background Appearance will be dark and light. If you want to change, you can change to dark mode, light mode, standard, which will be a mix of half half, I guess. Here we can see the difference. Auto hide dock if you want. If you don't want, you can do that. You can change the size. Notifications, search, applications. Gnome 44 is pretty much changed now. We'll get something like device or something like that here. Privacy. I made a video on that yesterday, so you can go check it out if you want. Sounds. Same. Power. I'll change to never you don't need to change that natural scoring this also changed in GNOME 44 printers removable media colors region and language universal access users default applications date and time about that's it let's close this thing I think I, I covered everything I guess utilities disk usage analyzer i showed it already so i'm not going to show it again let's open the web browser and let me show you my channel let's type in youtube.com slash 925 linux this is my channel url 
it will take you to directly to my channel I post two videos daily without missing any day here is a playlist of only Linux if you want to watch only Linux videos you can go to my playlist and just click view full playlist under Linux I made around like 1500 videos on different type of Linux distros I covered almost like 70 to 80 percent of Linux distros here you can just play all shuffle or choose any Linux which are some of the tutorials on Linux and let's go to about videos I mentioned here I post two videos daily and here is the timing of when I post the videos every day from Monday to Sunday if you want you can subscribe here is my Twitter that's it let's close this thing and let's check the system monitor after launching all these apps let's see these are all the processors running these are my resources which is crossing around like 28 we got a high peak from the starting we got a little bit of high peak here at the start and this will be same as let's run till 30 60 seconds and check the memory is around 1.7 GB now 45 percent at the beginning it was like 1.1 GB or 4 GB now it's 1.7 GB I think it like 16 600 MB it took extra the graph is around like under 20 that's pretty good this is the internet we don't care about the internet you only care about CP processor and memory 1.7 GB they are not crossing 20% that's pretty good that's it guys let's close this and shut down this thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out let's power off this thing power off